Yesterday, we told you about a man whose home was one of the worst hit after storms in the Mayport area. Spun a brief tornado that touched down in Huguenot Park. Well, tonight, that man is finding out there won't be funds to repair the mobile home he recently paid off after 13 years. Julia Janae has more from the man who works on the Navy base and is wondering where to go next. Thank you, Lord. Thank I could have been in that home as someone else could have been in that home. Thank you, Lord. Through music and faith, that's how William Adams says he's able to deal with what happened to his home. Maya Angelou would say one time, worry never fade the children, worry never paid the bills, worry never put new clothes on you. So why should we worry? This large oak tree destroyed his empty bedroom. My winter clothes is still in there and I can't get it out because it's stuck inside. Now he expects the city will condemn the entire building and without homeowners insurance, he's facing not having a home at all. And here's the hard part. Even though this tree fell on William's home, it actually came from his neighbor's yard. But the law says in most cases, even though that tree is there, it is the homeowner's responsibility for the damage. They work so hard to buy this and to pay for this. Penny Kamish has been friends with William for years. There are so many people who have been touched by him, them singing at their wedding, them singing at a loved one's funeral, and those are big life moments. It's just a way for people who are good and who have good hearts to be able to turn it around and somehow repay them for their good works. She's hoping help will come for a man who neighbors say sends melodic notes through the complex and keeps a smile no matter what. Hmm. What a singer. Julia Jade with that story tonight. And we talked to insurance agent Matt Carlucci. He says the tree property owner is only responsible if they didn't take care of a dead tree. William Adams' friends have set up a GoFundMe page for him. There's a link on our website, firstcoastnews.com.